Eric Mother, mother .com. Let me do a follow up on a video I did a couple weeks ago, and it is for DRX.L, uh, London Exchange stock. And here I was talking about, seemed like it was stalling. I'll show you what happened since. It's been about two weeks. So the initial video was recorded on the December 6th, and today is December 21st. Let's take a look at what happened after this video was recorded. And the gist of that prior video from December 6th was the fact that the stock was showing lots of resistance. As you can see here, I was talking about the resistance lines that I'm going to discuss in this video. You can see there was a line there and I was expecting it to stall unless it cleared those two lines. Let's go to the current chart. But before we do, let's take a look at the previous chart of the chart going back a couple weeks here this was the line I was talking about the stock had hit that level and it's pulling back and also you can also draw it connecting it this way so the pro the highs were being confirmed right there and there was also another line based off this break so I do that break line reasoning being that this was a warning sell signal of a trend so this trend break did correspond with the price coming off the highs here and a little bit of a pullback this was a warning pullback now we draw a line from there and you can see that we went above the line and back below it this red line for the highs there this was uniform action that's why we know this was a trap and that was correct because since then of course we are trading lower and we had come here beginning part of December no before that actually in October we went above the line again and back below it for the highs there and we were doing the same thing here so the video from a couple of weeks ago was as long as the stock was trading below these two lines one was to expect a pullback for DRX let's go to the current chart and show you what happened and what happened actually is something that I talk about in my video series this method here or this concept is called non-uniformity so you can check out this video here or this playlist if you want more details about what I'm gonna be talking about next so from a price of about 308 in about December 9th 308 let's go to the current chart and what we have here is now it is trading at 365 having moved from this range here what happened is the question and it's a great question the answer again comes from this method here which I call non-uniformity and let's go to the explanation so what happened here in simple terms is the level we were expecting for resistance actually ended up being cleared so the market went above the resistance lines here you can see it moved above that line okay so that there was a change of mind from a sell signal to a breakout and then also the prior line we had drawn based on the previous break line here also the market moved above the red line and so we have what was looking like resistance eventually the market changed its mind and blasted above those two lines so this also was violated to the upside and from that violation of breakout here you can see this explosion in price action so to me that is the best explanation it is something that we call non-uniformity or I call non-uniformity and you can see here as a perfect example of what happens when uniformity does not take place now I hope that makes sense so let's say you had gone short based on the prior resistance right there once it changes its mind and moves above your resistance line you have to respect what the market is saying and the market is saying that it wants to move higher Be why because it is clearing the resistance line 
Hope that makes sense yet again. So is this stock a superstar? Is it a superstar in the making? Well, let's check this out. Let's go to the weekly. I'm going to say this as long as the weekly is breaking out above the recent 2016 weekly closing high. I have no problem in considering this one that somebody can own. So as long as this breakout is taking place, the stock is moving above 355.40, which is this weekly closing high. There's nothing wrong in owning the stock. Now, if it drops back below that number of 355.40, then that would be a failed breakout and you can consider that as a sell signal. Now, I'll show you some of the things why I'm not too enthusiastic about this instrument in my own personal estimation. And it is this idea that the stock doesn't tend to hold on to gains. It just, it's all over the place. And personally, these types of actions are not the best. Usually what's going to happen is more than likely it's going to repeat itself and drop. So that's one reason why I wouldn't be enthusiastic. But if it is breaking out on the weekly, maybe that's okay. Also take a look at this back test line on the weekly. Um, and that line comes from this line, this support extended out. And you can see what's taking place here is once we broke through here off the highs, we've been finding it difficult to move above the blue line. And here we are coming back to test it. If it doesn't move above that blue line, I would consider that another reason why this could actually stall. There's also another way of looking at this, which is to figure out where it broke down recently. And it is this break here. That break corresponds with the movement off. So this RSI trend break corresponds with prices coming off that high. And right now what we are doing in essence is coming back to test this line here. So you can see week to week, this is a challenge. But the way you can know that it, it might have legs is a very simple way is to use this closing high here as your line on the sand. As long as the stock is breaking out above 355.40, well, you can own it and see what happens. But I suspect those lines that are popping up on the weekly, the two lines we drew are gonna cause a problem for this instrument. And again, the two lines this line and the back test previous support line coming in play right now. Those two lines are going to give this instrument some problems here in the next couple of weeks. And something else that I'm not too hot about this instrument is the fact that the RSIs and MACDs are not moving to three year highs. You can see not the RSI on the three year monthly, not at three year highs and neither of the MACDs is moving to three-year highs, which means the stock does not meet the minimum requirements for an explosive move. As explained in detail on all these playlists here. So all these playlists, you can check them out, do explain why we need the RSIs and MACDs to be moving to three-year highs. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith.com, as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E, I see. Yes. Mwah. Woo!